So boys and girls, in this video, we are going to call a smart contract from JavaScript. Only using JavaScript, basically. Uh, we're going to use a library, actually, Ethers.js, but it's a JavaScript library. So it's, again, JavaScript. And what I... I made a mistake in the previous video where I... And I should I probably delete this. I made a mistake. I didn't include this code, which is very important. It just requests... I think this is in the video where I, where, where we learned about listening to provider events and I didn't uh, put this code in which is very important and the program, uh, the software wouldn't work without this code. So you have this uh, method being called eat accounts, basically just requesting this eat accounts and I'm calling this uh, handle change with just gets all the accounts so make sure you add this uh, in before you continue so let's start off with uh, so we're going to interact with a smart contract let's see with what uh, smart contracts we're going to interact with so and actually let's create a new smart contract from scratch and deploy that one so here I have a contract into remix it's called a random token you can call this whatever you like. I'm going to provide, if I don't forget, the code for this contract in the description. So let's call this subscribe, just to, so you can be reminded to subscribe. And we're going to, this is basically the contract we're going to interact with. And we're going to deploy it using Remix. So if you don't understand a bunch of this code, it's not really important. Um, I'm just going to walk you through the most basic things, like the total supply. You have a total supply here of 69,000 because that's our favorite number. And it's times by 10 times 18 because this is, we want to provide this in a way, which is the smallest unit of measurement in ether, uh, of, of ether. And also you have the name of the contract. I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see. We have the name of this uh, token. This is going to be an actual token, an ERC20 token. And let's just go ahead and, and call this subscribe token. And, and also under this variable you have the token symbol. You can, we can call this just sub, okay? And also, a very important thing, whenever, uh, once you deploy this smart contract, this constructor function gets called, and basically all of the total supply goes to the person who deployed the contract, which is message.sender. And this is important thing, when you deploy the smart, when we deploy this smart contract, all of the token supply is going to go inside our, uh, to our address and basically we're in uh, we're going to just call the smart contract and check the balance of this address which is going to be it should be 69,000 so let's just save this and delete all the previous smart contract make sure you have injected web3 here and this is your account I don't have any other so let's click deploy Let's try to deploy this contract. So, so MetaMask is asking you if you want to deploy this contract. Person confirm. And we are going to copy our address. Go inside ring B. Paste this here. And look if we have successfully deployed the contract. Here you can see the transaction is still pending into Remix. And as you can see, the the, uh, the transaction was successful in the remix. Let's verify that on the ring B scan because this is going to be a contract on ring B. We're not really deploying on the mainnet because you know that costs money and we don't have money currently. So we, yes, we do have this last transaction. So it's a contract. And if you go up here into the transaction hash, we can check out the contract address. So it says from our address, this is the address we have, to this address, which is the 
address of the contract and you and you can see the contract address also if you go into remix and up here and you can copy this address so I said once you deploy the smart contract you should have all of your uh, uh, to all of these tokens, all of the token supply inside your uh, contract, uh, inside your account. So let, how can we, we verify that? That's true. So let's copy this uh, contract address and let's go inside MetaMask. Let's go inside MetaMask to see if we have these tokens. So if you go to assets, I don't really have any assets here, but I can import the token because I, I don't see it because it's not important so copy the contract address paste it here go inside this token symbol and just say sub because that's the symbol we provided and this is going to be 18 because we're using way and click on add token so as you can see we have 69,000 sub so far so let's click on import token go back and as you can see now it's in our assets we, we do really have 69,000 sub token uh, so now that we have successfully deployed this contract let's go ahead and prepare our project let's go into index.html and we're going to add another button that going, is going to call this contract let's call this call contract we're going to interact with this contract and we're going to check balance from contract we're going to check the balance of our address from this contract so let's call this function that go inside index.js and let's uh, call this async this is going to be again function this is the name and now let's go ahead and just console log something to make sure this works so save this go into our app this is my app call this contract as you can see this uh, is linked it works and we're going to interact with this smart contract we're going to need three things the first one being the contract address so let's uh, let's call this contract address and we're going to define the contract address here I'm going to say subcontract address and where can we take this we can take this from the remix id or from ring p it doesn't really matter because they're they're all the same so this is our contract address this is the first thing the second thing we need is whoops let's let's just write them down for more clarity the second thing we need is the ABI. I'm going to explain what that is in just a second. And the third thing is we need the provider because with the provider, I think we're going to make the actual call to the contract. So we have our address that's done, and now we need ABI. So what's what is an ABI? Let's see. So an ABI. So let, let's just go about it this way. So when you when you let me go into my contract when you create the contract in solidity like i have done here and once you deploy them to the blockchain like we did to the testnet blockchain uh, this is going into evm basically and it's uh, converted or i sh i should say compiled into bytecode and the thing is um you win we don't understand bytecode and abi is basically representing all of the ABI is just a JSON file that represents all the functionality this smart contract has and since this is an ERC20 we're going to use an ERC20 ABI uh, contract and this basic this contract has all of the uh, all of the fu functions and all of the functions defined and with their input and output for our smart contracts so basically we can this is just like an interface you can think of it so let's go ahead and copy all of this so let's go this is a very big API we're not going to of course call all of these functions because 
we all we only need one but let's copy all of the ABI and let's go ahead and say let a uh, subcontract ABI and this is going to be an array just I'm just going to paste this here and the third thing is now we have the uh, first two things and the third things is we need a provider so if you go to again to this ethers docs you, you can find how you can uh, define this provider basically this is a wrapper around the standard web3 provider that metamask gives us or i should say this global this global window ethereum object so let's copy this line let's and we're going to define this uh in this unload function whenever we found out that yes you do have this ethereum window that ethereum object so let's create this provider and actually we're going to create a global provider and just update the value here so let's not forget and define this provider here let provider and now we can we have all this, these three things so we can finally interact with this smart contract let's go let's go ahead and create a contract instance so by saying let sub contract because it's a subscribe token let's say this is new ethers dot contract this is how you basically create a contract instance and how do i know this well i just read the the ethereum docs so here we need to provide the contract address which is subcontract address that we defined above then we need to provide the abi so let's say abi let's see if we find it and yes it is here and the third thing we need is the actual provider so say provider here so we have the our contract here instance and then we need to call the balance of function so let's call that say await because we are making a transaction here that it would not cost any money but so let's say subcontract and not the abi but only the contract and say balance of and then we're going to access our first account and we're going to save this inside of a balance variable so let's print out now this balance and we are we will need to convert this to string so it's re actually readable and the moment of truth let's see if this works let's go inside uh, this app let's click on so, so we have so whoops it says ethers is not defined what does this mean so it means we have not uh, really uh, got ethers here if you go ahead and say window dot ethers you can see it's undefined so how can we get ethers well if you go in again into the docs you can see we can get ethers from a cdn uh, like so i think this is the one yep so let's just copy this go inside index.html and here just under the body i'm going to paste this here and now if i go ahead and go into my app search for windows.ethers you can see i have an actual ethers object here so now i can finally use ethers so let's uh the moment of truth let's call this contract and see if we get the actual balance and bam we have 69,000 uh sub token this is again representing way uh this is the the sub token this is in way so if you want to really convert this you can go ahead and go into this and just divide this math that to the power the power function and say 10 to the power of 18 let's see now yeah so yeah we get 69,000 and you can even 
uh, have some fun and this is basically an address I that address nobody uses it has a lot of ether and you can send uh, you can burn your token by sending uh, sending it to this address so let's go ahead and open metamask just we're going to just do this to change our balance so let's go into sub token send and paste this that address and let's send a thousand sub tokens uh, so let's click on next let's confirm the transaction and see if our balances change and as you can see we have successfully now 68,000 sub tokens so if I call this contract again BAM we're going to see our updated balance mm -hmm.